Three Hail Marys is a traditional Roman Catholic devotional practice of reciting three Hail Marys as a petition for purity and other virtues. Believers recommend that it be prayed after waking in the morning, and before going to bed, following the examination of conscience at night. This devotion has been recommended by Saint Anthony of Padua, Saint Alphonsus Liguori, Saint John Bosco and Saint Leonard of Port Maurice. Two saints, Mechtild and Gertrude, are said to have received revelations from the Blessed Virgin Mary regarding this practice. History The practice of reciting the Hail Mary three times dates at least to the 12th century. One of the first to practice and recommend it was Saint Anthony of Padua His purpose was, "...to honor the spotless virginity of Mary and to preserve a perfect purity of mind, heart and body in the midst of the dangers of the world." The practice of saying three Hail Marys in the evening somewhere about sunset had become general throughout Europe in the first half of the 14th century and it was recommended and indulgenced by Pope John XXII in 1318 and 1327. Many saints have practiced and recommended the devotion of the three Hail Mary, such as Saint Leonard of Port Maurice, Saint Bonaventure, Saint John Birchmans, Saint John Baptist Mary Vienne, Cure of Ars, Saint Stanislaus Kostka, Saint Louis Marie Grignon de Montfort, Saint John Joseph of the Cross, Saint John Baptist de Rossi, Saint Gerard Magella, Saint Gabriel of Our Lady of Sorrows, Blessed Marcellinus Champagnat, Saint Alphonsus Liguori, Saint Gemma Galgani, and Saint Josemaria Escriva. This practice was observed by Franciscans and eventually developed into the Angelus Prayer. Revelations from the Blessed Virgin Mary Saint Mechtild of Hackborn a Benedictine nun of the convent of Helfta, experienced three visions of the Virgin Mary. Mechtild was distressed over her eternal salvation and prayed to the Virgin to be present at the hour of her death. In these appearances, Mary reassured her, and taught her to understand especially on how the three Hail Marys honor the three persons of the Blessed Trinity. The first prayer recalls the power she received from the Eternal Father to intercede for sinners, the second commemorates the wisdom received from the Son, and the third, the love she bears, filled by Holy Spirit. According to Saint Gertrude, 1256-1301, the Blessed Virgin Mary promised the following. To any soul who faithfully prays the three Hail Marys, I will appear at the hour of death in a splendor of beauty so extraordinary that it will fill the soul with heavenly consolation." One recommended method is as follows O Mary, by thy pure and immaculate conception, make my body pure and my soul holy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O my mother, preserve me this day from mortal sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O my mother, preserve me this day from mortal sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O my mother, preserve me this day from mortal sin. Other recommendations Later on, St. Leonard of Port Maurice, "...had the three Avenue Marias recited morning and evening in honor of Mary Immaculate, to obtain the grace of avoiding all mortal sins during the day and night, moreover, he promised in a special manner eternal salvation to all those who proved constantly faithful to this practice." Doctor of the Church Street Alphonsus Liguori adopted this pious practice and highly recommended it. He told parents to train their children to acquire the habit of saying three Hail Marys in the morning and evening. After each Hail Mary, he advised that the following prayer be said, "...by thy pure and immaculate conception, O Mary, make my body pure and my soul holy." According to the St. Martha Catholic Church of the Palatine Fathers, after night prayers, 
Many saints have had the practice of adding three Hail Marys here in honor of Mary's purity for the grace of a chaste and holy life." One, thus, it has been recommended as a daily practice for people who have received the Sacrament of Confirmation that they pray the three Hail Marys for "...purity of mind, heart and body," after examination of conscience, before going to bed. Adaptations. St. Virgilius Council 185, Knights of Columbus, Indiana Newtown, Connecticut, initiated a three Hail Marys prayer drive in support of those affected by the shootings at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The council requested other Knights Councils and religious organizations to encourage the praying of one Hail Mary for the deceased and their families, one for first responders and teachers, and one for the community. It is a common practice for Catholics to offer three Hail Marys for any given problem or petition. References External links Fatima Network EWTN on the efficacious novena of the Three Hail Marys Moran, F. R. Patrick. The Catholic Prayer Book and Manual of Meditations p. 519 Lupino, Giuseppe. Short History of the Angelus. L'Osservatore Romano, 4 September 2002, p. 6.